often wake up through the night and you have no idea of why you're waking up, well, you're not alone because most of us will wake up through the night and then we'll let the feelings and the frustrations come in and that will keep us awake longer. Uh, but what I know is once we learn the signs of sleep and how sleep actually works, then we can understand why we're waking up and it makes it easier to accept the wake-ups and then fall asleep quickly and easily afterwards again. My name is Carol Richard. I'm the founder of the Sleep Success Academy. And before we start into this video, why don't you head over to my website and grab a copy of your free guide, Journey to Better Sleep, Five Action Steps to Improve the Quality of Your Sleep Today. Because sometimes it's just changing one small thing that can help us to better sleep and other times we just need more help, but start with a copy of my free guide. All right, so let's talk about sleep. This was huge for me when I understood what was happening to me while I was sleeping. A lot of things started making sense. And that's why I wanted to talk about this today, because this might actually help you get back to sleep quickly and easily once you understand why you're waking up. So we're going to talk about the sleep cycles, the sleep stages, and then deep sleep and REM sleep and all that good stuff and what actually happens and when it happens during the night. Uh, so first, let's talk about the sleep stages, because in a 90 minute period in the night, we have four stages that our brain goes through while it's sleeping. And so the first stage, stage one, is the part where we're falling asleep. You know that you're in stage one when you're like daydreaming, you're just kind of falling asleep. You're not there yet. You know, you could be on the couch and you feel yourself nodding. Well, that's stage one. Um, and it lasts maybe like 2% of the night. It's not very long. It's usually pretty quick um, unless you're struggling with sleep. And then we feel like we never get into stage one. But we'll talk about that later. Uh, and then once we fall asleep, we hit stage two. Stage two is very light sleep. You can easily wake up from stage two and you're in this stage for about 30 to 45 minutes after you've fallen asleep. And so you can easily be woken up. Um, you don't really get any benefit from this stage of sleep with all the research that I've done. It's just a stage that we're in. And then we hit stage three, four. They're combined. And this is where our physical body restores itself. This is what we call the deep sleep. When we're in deep sleep, that's where our, our breath really like our respiration slows down, our heart rate slows down, our blood pressure goes down. It's actually the part where we're the hardest to wake up from. So we're really in this deep sleep and we're really relaxed and slow. And so this deep sleep is really where your physical body restores itself. If you ever are woken up from a deep sleep, you'll feel groggy, you'll feel disoriented. Uh, you actually won't even know where you are. So if you ever had the alarm clock go off, and all of a sudden you're like, like, what day is it? Like you're totally confused. That's because your alarm went off while you were in deep sleep. So once you're in deep sleep, then we go into REM sleep. REM sleep is where your, um, phys your mental restoration happens. It's also where we dream, right? So we have a lot of vivid images and emotional state in the REM sleep, because as we're dreaming, um, I really like to see this stage. And this is my own description of you know, it's like a computer that's fragmenting itself, you know, in the old days, I don't know if you still have to do that with your computer, but I don't, but in the old days, I would put the, this, this, this fragmenting software going and like, you could see the computer putting the files back in order. That's kind of what I picture REM sleep for me. Um, I'm a vis very visual person. So to me, it's like during REM sleep, I'm having dreams, I'm having vivid memories may be happening. Um, it could be nightmares for some people, but it's trying to kind of file away all those memories so that we can then use them at a later date. But during this state, what happens is our heart rate might increase. Uh, we're more alert and we can wake up easily. That's why a lot of us, when we wake up, we're like, oh, okay, I remember my dream. If I woke up during REM sleep, we'll actually remember our dream. Um, all of that to say that this is all those states together last about 90 minutes and they create a sleep cycle. So during the night, we will have between four to sleep, six sleep cycles if we sleep really well. So four sleep cycles will be like six hours. Five cycles will be about seven and a half hours. And six cycles will be like nine hours. So depending if you're someone who sleeps, you know, six to nine hours where you fall in there, 
um, you'll know that I know I sleep seven and a half hours. So I, I always know that I have five cycles going on in the night. Now, interesting facts. So your deep sleep, so stage three, four, when you're in your first or second or third sleep cycle, you have more deep sleep and less REM sleep. You still have both, but you just have more deep sleep and less REM. But as you're going towards your end of the night cycles, so maybe the last two, you're having a lot more REM sleep. So you're dreaming more. It could be an hour out of that hour and a half into a dream sleep and where you can easily wake up again. And so that's what's interesting is most people will say, like, I wake up around 3 a.m. And if you calculate the time they went to sleep, they're probably waking up after the third sleep cycle because it's just an easier place for their brain to wake up. Now, I'm going to read a quote here from the book uh, from Dr. Greg Jacobs. He's a PhD. He wrote a book, Say Goodnight to Insomnia. And in this book, he says, and this is where I want you to really listen to this because this could explain why you're waking up at night. He says, because sleep grows lighter as the night proceeds, awakenings are more prone to occur during the second half of the night. That's because we're more in REM sleep. Our brain is easily more awake and therefore we can wake up easily. And that's why sometimes you can be in your third sleep cycle. And that's when you wake up because your body is now used to waking up after that one. As an example, could be for some people. It is also normal to wake up six or more times, particularly when we switch from one sleep stage to another. So we, if we have five sleep stages that we go through in the night, so every time I start stage one, two, three, four REM sleep, then I start another cycle. I start back at the beginning, stage one, two, stage one will be really small, maybe a second or two here. But during that time, if I had something that my mind was preoccupied with, I could wake up. And then he keeps saying, we, um, we normally fall back asleep within seconds after these awakening and don't recall the, them the following morning. So if you're saying, oh, no, my husband, he falls asleep and he doesn't wake up at all. He does, but it's so small that, and his brain is not thinking that he just goes right back to sleep. That's my husband. Uh, for me, I'm usually good for the first three sleep cycles because I'm in deep sleep and I don't really notice waking up. If I'm going to wake up, it will be between like cycle three and four or between four and five. So what do you do to help yourself get back to sleep quickly and easily knowing this information? Well, what changed for me is once I was awake, I was like, oh, it's just normal. It's part of what happens as I'm sleeping. And just because I'm awake for this second doesn't mean that I have to let my mind now jump in. And if my mind jumps in with all these thoughts and to-do lists and everything else, then of course, I'm not going to be able to fall back asleep. But accepting that it's normal to wake up through the night made it so much easier for me to go back to sleep. And once I explained this to some of my clients, they're like, oh, it's easier than, and then the frustration doesn't kick in or the sadness that we're awake again and all alone through the night doesn't have a chance to kick in because we know different now. We know that this is the normal part of sleep. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. So if you are someone who struggles with waking up through the night, know that you're normal. Everybody does it. Just if you're a good sleeper, if your identity is being a good sleeper, you might not even be aware that you're waking up. But when we identify as someone who sleeps lightly or wakes up easily, then of course, the minute we are awake, our identity kicks in that, oh, here we go again. I can't fall asleep. It's not possible for me to sleep. And it's all those thoughts and beliefs and that keep us awake. So hoping that this video will give you some information, leave a comment below if this helped you in any way. And at the same time, go visit my website, sleepsuccessacademy.com. Grab a copy of your free guide. If you need personal help and you want me to guide you on your journey to better sleep, just book an optimal sleep assessment with me and I will be more than happy to guide you to, for you to create better sleep because when we sleep, life is beautiful.